good morning. It is just about sunrise at 640 here and I am already deep in the Alpine Lakes wilderness. And I am also six miles into this hike already. And that is because I am doing a pretty epic hike to close out summer. It is September 17th, it is still technically summer, and I am hiking to Jade Lake, which, depending on who you ask, is one of the, or if not the, most beautiful alpine lake in the entire state. However, Jade Lake is 20 miles round trip with 4,500 feet of elevation gain. This is usually done as a backpacking trip, but I'm doing it as a day hike because I am training for some pretty intense fall hiking and I have wanted to see this lake for a long time. I'm already in the Alpine and this sunrise is going to be gorgeous. So gotta keep going up this trail. I got a lot of miles to go. Well, it is sunrise now. Oh my goodness. Finally some light. It's gonna start hitting this valley because it is cold. It definitely does not feel like it is still summer. It feels like fall. <laughs> it is quite cold. So, uh, keeps me motivated to move fast, but it is gorgeous. Um, and I am making excellent time. I did the first six miles in two hours, so they're pretty flat though. So I've got like almost all the climbing ahead of me, but I just really cannot wait to get my eyes on this lake. So now, uh, almost to the first lake. Um, well, there's a couple lakes along this trail and um, the lake before Jade Lake is Marmot Lake and I am almost there. I've just got a little bit ways left to go. Um, and then it's a very steep climb to get to Jade. But I have done most of the mileage but not most of the gain, which is always a good sign. <laughs>
I give you Marmot Lake. And wow, it is so much prettier than it looks in pictures. And oh my gosh. Yeah, here is Marmot Lake in beautiful early morning alpine sunrise. And I'll show you the route too. So the trail goes along the lake. You see that peak up there? So this pass, this is where you have to scramble, and Jade is in the basin below that peak. <sighs> Hardest part is safe for last, but Marmot is beautiful. And I'm going to stop on the way back here to get some shots of this water because it is beautiful and clear, but that'll be more apparent on the way back when the sun hits it more. But I do not have time to linger here because I still got the hardest part of the climb to go and then oh, a lot of mileage. So got to keep moving. Well, I made it around Marmot, and now I am at the start of the boulders, following the cairns for the scramble up to Jade. This is the hard part, and after that, oh, I will be rewarded with a gorgeous alpine lake, but a oh, couple hundred feet more to go, and they are steep. Well, here is the path up the boulders to get to Jade. Just came up that part there. There's Marmot and oh, it is steep, but honestly, there's cairns marking the way. Pretty obvious and um, more of a path than all the uh, trip reports I read about this part of the climb would suggest. So. I am so motivated because I'm on a very strict time schedule with uh, with this climb, obviously. Uh, I would like to get home before dark, so um, any, I have to make, I have to go pretty fast um, so that I can spend uh, some time at Jade before I come down all this. <laughs> So, the faster I go, the more time I get at the lake. It's a bike go right on the rock here. This is it. I made it to the top of the pass. Huh. It was nowhere near as bad as I was expecting, but still steep, especially after already doing 10 miles. But I am like within 0.1 mile of Jade, and I am so excited. Oh my gosh.
that lake down there is No Name Lake. Beautiful. I give you Jade Lake. Oh my, oh my God, this, this color is unreal. Oh my God. Look at that. <laughs> oh my God. And the reason it's this color is because that's a glacier up there and the glacial till you know, it, it grinds minerals and stuff and it comes down into the lake and gives it this beautiful color. And that there is Dip Top Peak. This is Dip Top Gap. And this is a Lynch Peak. Oh my God. I don't have too long here, but because um, I have a long hike back out of here, but I'm telling myself it is worth it now because I have a feeling when I am three miles from my car, I am probably going to be cursing myself for thinking this was a good idea, but <sighs> this is like something out of a fantasy. Oh my God. I, I just, it's, it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. the contrast of these green trees against that insane blue color. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Sadly, my time is up here and I have to say goodbye to beautiful Jade Lake. This was absolutely worth it. Oh my gosh. And it, it might just be the most beautiful lake I've ever seen in my life. It is, oh my God. I do not want to leave, but I must. There is 10 and a half miles between me and my car. <sighs> I am going to be doing some running to try to make up on time. 
by Jade Lake. But don't go anywhere because the way back is filled with beautiful lakes and tarns, many of which I passed in the dark. So I'm gonna have a lot of really pretty footage uh, for the run slash speed hike back to the car. And they'll all look so different now that the light has come out to hit them. So here is No Name Lake, which is kind of a fun name for a lake. I don't really know who gets to name the lakes or why they are called those things, but it is beautiful. I do like tiny lakes. And that is probably enough goofing around. I do have to really get to business and start putting in some miles. It's the price for picking uh, such a long day hike, but I chose this because I wanted to push myself. Well, I am coming up on the steep descent down back to Marmot Lake. Um, and then after that, I have to go around Marmot, which was actually more of a pain than honestly the climb up, I think. It's just not a fantastic trail around the lake. And then once I get around Marmot, then it's gonna be smooth sailing. I get to run down some switchbacks and then um, probably not going to run up Deception Pass, but then once I top out of Deception Pass, uh, it's gonna be all downhill from there uh, and five miles. But uh, fortunately, most of this trail is very runnable and I need it to be. So uh, just gotta get the hardest part over with. In case you doubted how steep this part is, that's the gully I came down, and then basically just straight down there. Well, I am back at Marmot and I'm going to filter some water here because I think this is the cleanest and most beautiful water source um, on the way back and then I'm going to start running but this is this beautiful little beach rocky beach here and I have it all to myself All right, I have started my run down from Marmot. My goal is to run more of this on the way back than to power hike. And uh, nine miles back to my car. Let's go. I am climbing 
back up Deception Pass. And it is at this point I am starting to question my sanity and thinking this was a good idea. <sighs> that is hiking in the Pacific Northwest for you. It's a long, rocky trail and it is uphill both ways. Oh. I looked at a picture of the lake on my phone so that I remembered why I did this, but uh, it's a super gradual climb and I'm just complaining. <laughs> Top of Deception Pass. No more, no more climbing. Oh my God. Whew. I have six miles to go and I'm hoping to do those in about two hours or under. And they're easy miles. It's just, it feels much longer after having already done so much. Uh, yeah, it is beautiful though. Sorry, I am, I am getting tired, <sighs> but loving it. It's hard to complain when you just get to run around the Alpine. <sighs> I am on the last three miles, which are pretty flat. And I'm gonna try and get them done in an hour. Oh my goodness. I, yeah, <laughs> this was a bad idea. <laughs> oh my goodness. It has been fun though. Um, some of this is definitely a type 2 fun category, but uh, I have two more lakes to show and there was definitely a view point that um, I saw even in the dark, like you could see the mountain silhouetted. So gonna go see that on the way out. Should be beautiful, but oh my goodness, I was ready to be done. Uh, six miles ago. <laughs> well, here it is. Highest lake. It's a large lake that's on along the final flat portion of the uh, lower trail and uh, it is pretty cool looking. There's a couple people backpacking here uh, who are fishing, which sounds pretty cool. Oh yeah, here's a better view. Look at that. I'll have to identify this. I'm pretty sure that's Cathedral Rock, but I'll have to double check. Oh man, this is beautiful. I'm sure this place is great for wildlife viewing. two and a half miles to go, but I'm going to film the wrap up now. I know I look like a mess and that is because I am a mess, but this was a fantastic way to close out summer hiking season. Um, Jade Lake was unbelievable. Oh my gosh. I, it really, it's one of those things that it just doesn't look real. <laughs> It, it just doesn't and I oh my gosh, I cannot get over the color um, I'm gonna have to try and paint it, but I don't know if I can capture that blue. Oh my gosh 
Anyway, um, I highly recommend it. Do I recommend doing Jade Lake in a day, as a day hike? Not unless you are in pretty good shape and are willing to do a long day. This is long. Um, it's definitely probably better enjoyed as a backpack um, overnight, but I sadly did not have time for that and I wanted to see that lake and I am so glad that I did, even as I am cursing myself for having this idea in the first place as I am marching back to my car. Anyway, absolutely incredible. Gorgeous, the views are always worth it. Views like that are always worth it. Anyway, I have to bang out this last two and a half miles and then a long drive home. So, <sighs> thank you so much for watching and here are my favorite pictures from the trail today. Enjoy. Enjoy.